In this demonstration of Barmney's front office, I'm going to take you through uh, some of the capabilities of the App Store. You can see on here within the Barmney homepage that I've got ability to uh, access the App Store up here in the carousel. Uh, before we do that, let me show you a panel that we've created down here, uh, this My Apps panel. What this shows you uh, is any uh, apps that have already been uh, provisioned to you. Uh, so as well as looking at the App Store, we're going to be looking at how that's uh, fulfilled through the App Store uh, and made available to uh, an end user. So I'm going to go into the uh, App Store now. Uh, when I go in here, I get a view of all the different apps uh, that are available. These can be coming from multiple catalogues. Uh, the catalog can exist internally uh, within the uh, Barmy front office, or we can indeed be pulling it out uh, from an external uh, catalog uh, resource uh, into uh, into front office. So typically where we're looking at uh, bringing things in to do fulfillment with them, uh, then we'd look to uh, import that catalog uh, already. You can see also in here we can set up uh, filters on the different elements uh, within the cat catalog uh, and I can also uh, browse down and uh, we can see that new items uh, appear uh, as we do that. Uh, just to look at one of these elements then, uh, then we can see here when we look at the Google Maps element, uh, we've got the ability to uh, view different uh, images within here. Uh, we've also got full details uh, on the actual software and also importantly we've got the ability for people to put in uh, reviews. Uh, this is also this is useful for uh, both uh, external apps that you may have in here but of course very useful if you have an internal app that you've developed uh, and you want to get some feedback on it uh, and you can also apply a star rating in here as well. Uh, this particular app is set to uh, download now so this wouldn't go through the request process if we clicked on that then that would be downloaded uh, directly onto our machine so it's clearly this piece of software that we don't want to have uh, any particular control uh, over. Uh, if I look over on the right here then and we go and maybe select uh, a delivery method and let's go and look at the streamed items that we've got uh, and here we're just looking at uh, items that are uh, available through uh, software streaming. Uh, well you can see on here that two of the items are, have already been uh, allocated to me so uh, they were the ones that we saw in the panel on the home page. So if I click into either of those, uh, when I click into it again I get all the details uh, but this time I see a launch now. So just as you would see on your phone, uh, on your app store you get a launch now button uh, on here. Uh, which would show you that, that that's already installed, you're already entitled for that, so you can go off and run it. If I'm looking at uh, to add something then that isn't already on there, so let's go and look at this one, uh, then we can see this one is now set up for request now. What we're actually doing there is actually we're actually ch going away to check uh, the uh, entitlement system, which is external to Biomni. Uh, we have a web service that will go away, it'll check that to see whether or not uh, you're already uh, allocated that. If you're not, uh, then we get the request now button. Also down there, just to give us an indication on the sort of usage uh, of this uh, piece of software, we can also see the approximate number of times that it's been downloaded or requested as well as getting the star rating on the left there. So I'm going to click on to uh, request now. Uh, when I do that, I'll be taken into uh, the uh, uh, request details page that I need to fill out. Uh, in here you can see there's a lot of uh, standard fields that, uh, that we need to come in and fill out. Uh, so it's already filled in my name. Uh, here I've got the option of either saying I want it fast tracked or, or a standard delivery. If I select indeed for fast track then I need to add some uh, extra information in there as to why uh, that needs to be fast tracked and that could be checked through when it's going through uh, approval. Uh, and then also here, here's some of the other attributes that you may want to add. Uh, as you're building up your request for software uh, and these will obviously all be passed to uh, the relevant fulfillment system. So first of all we've got a software install target so if you had maybe more than one machine we can use uh, a web service to go out uh, to take the details from the request about the user uh, and actually pull back all of those users machines uh, and then we can decide which of those machines we want to go and deploy it onto. Uh, other things on here, we could select the term it's required, so 3, 6, 12 months, obviously you could change all of this as, as you want to. 
uh, and whether it's required for a project, date required, and any extra justification. So these aren't uh, an exhaustive list of fields that you might want to add. Uh, clearly you can add uh, whatever fields you need to capture in order to go and deploy uh, that particular piece of software. I'm now going to uh, switch on to the uh, item details. Uh, so in here we can see uh, the actual, uh, again, the software that we've picked. Uh, and then when I go on to uh, submit request up here, uh, what we're actually going to be doing is to pass it through uh, a number of different steps uh, on uh, approval. So each of these then uh, can be uh, 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 passed through. Uh, each of these will receive an email. Uh, that email would uh, be... Uh, sent to, to that person they click on the hyperlink they see all the information on, on that request uh, and they can decide whether or not to uh, approve or, or reject that uh, that particular request uh, front office approval is very uh, complex and uh, functional uh, so you can have um, uh, approvals going off to uh, users and groups you can have it in serial and parallel as well what i'm going to do on this at the moment then is i'm going to uh, override this for approval and uh, because I'm an administrator I, I have the right to do that a normal user wouldn't uh, actually have the right to do that uh, and then what that will allow us to do is to see that now going straight into uh, fulfillment so over on here then we can see we've completed all of the request details on here and uh, we've now passed it over into uh, fulfillment you can see here now that we've built this uh, fulfillment out. So this is using the Biomni uh, fulfillment functionality. Uh, so what that allows us to do is to have a number of activities uh, that can be easily uh, designed and dropped into here. Uh, and what we're doing is at the top here, uh, we're actually checking to see what type of software it is. So we can see here that we've got stream software. Uh, we've got maybe software that's going to SECCM, and then we've got manual software. And each of these is feeding off into a different process. Uh, you can see here as well that we're asking a question, is it fast track? Did I, did I click the fast track on it? I didn't. But if I had, it would go down a slightly different process uh, with a different SLA on it uh, than, if it was a, than if it was a standard. So this is all happening in uh, real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on to the uh, refresh. Uh, we can see once I've done that, that we've now completed a number of these tasks. We can see that the uh, software made its way uh, down this particular path. So we identified it as being streaming. Uh, we've actually gone and opened the SLA. We've actually provisioned the software uh, and then we've closed the SLA there as well. If I carry on down, we can see that then what we're going to do down here is we're going to wait uh, 24 hours after that has been provisioned. And what we'll do is we'd send out a request for that user to confirm that that software had actually been installed. If the software hadn't been installed, uh, then what we can do is go off and raise a ticket uh, on a help desk, and we can inform the user uh, of that as, as well. And we can just keep checking on that, see if it's open. And uh, then finally, we'll come down here and uh, close the request. So what I can do on here is I can just show you here, if we go and view the task again, because I'm an administrator, I can go straight into this, but normally a user would be sent an email. Uh, they click into the system, they click on the hyperlink on the email. That would then bring them into this sort of screen. So this is the uh, in inbox uh, task detail that, uh, that we're seeing here. And this is where the user is actually being asked to confirm that they've received uh, that particular software. I can't click on complete at the moment. I'm being asked to go and edit the request. So I'm taken back into my original request. And here you can see some extra details uh, that have been uh, created uh, to appear at this particular stage. They, they weren't appeared before. So in here, all I need to say is that yes, that uh, software was all uh, 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 installed correctly. Uh, and they then click on to uh, complete task. I don't need to put any comments in here. And that then completes uh, the, uh, the process. So if we go back and just track that now, uh, we can see the request for software is here, is underneath all of the requests. This is the one then we can see it's still within our SLA on the right there. And uh, again, if I look uh, within the fulfillment, we can see that we selected, yes, that was okay. So in fact, we'll just go down, we'll close it and we'll uh, complete the, uh, the request. So that's a, a quick tour of uh, the App Store and how that can be linked into uh, the uh, request functionality 
and also the fulfillment functionality in order to uh, for you to fulfill a, a software item. If you want to know more information about that, have a look at www.barmy.com uh, and you'll find uh, more details on there. Thank you.